when you want to write program code that's going to exceed 5 6 lines uh, it's better to use notepad write the code in notepad and then import that in the uh, casio prism calculator and we'll show that method so we'll do uh, as an example quadratic equation formula so uh, this is notepad the first thing that is required is one must know what quadratic equation formula uh, needs to be program means that means if you are given equation and i'm going to while writing this explain so given a x square and because by default the coefficients or the variables are required to be uh, uh, may not be but uh, so far i used all capital so i'm using all capital coefficients plus bx plus c equals zero i put this in quote because this is exactly how it will be displayed so when this is given we ask the user to input a b and c so we have to give the prompt which will show up on the screen so we say in enter or we can say input a b and c and again code complete this will be shown as it is then you can there will be a question mark when the, the user will be waiting uh, uh, or inputting the number that is uh, asked for that is a this is the syntax for assigning whatever the user inputs to variable a then we asked actually we want this to be shown that the user sees that he input or she input the number correctly so we put here what is called as a display by disp and i don't know if there is a period for that but i'm going to put display syntax like that that means it will detect the error and we can correct it so same thing so i'm going to copy this that's why we are in word uh, in uh, notepad so that we can uh, increase the speed by the use of editor so this is c so we will be getting all three coefficients a b and c then we need to calculate the discriminant which is d so discriminant d equals and if you know what discriminant d is that is b square minus and here i'm going to write the discriminant the discriminant is b square minus uh, minus four times ac so a c and this divided by no this is discriminant this doesn't need to be divided by anything so we'll have this assign to capital d that is the discriminant then again we want this to be displayed like this displayed means this will show on the screen now we work on the calculated discriminant that if the d is negative that means the solutions are complex so we don't calculate those we simply say no real solution so if this we need to say then the syntax is like this and this uh, exact syntax is available there in the editor 
and one should uh, always check when this is uploaded on the calculator but time being we need to have put things here so if d then we say that d is negative and this implies here is the imply no real solution that's all the messages that means the program should end in case of negative discriminant and so we say end but end means this is just an indication to the user that it ended but if it's not negative then else then this discriminant we copy as it is no we don't need to copy we can copy d now so we say then uh, else the value will be calculated for so that will be minus b plus square root of d now we don't know how the square root is going to be written so we time being assume like this square root of d this divided by 2 times a 2a this whole thing will be assigned to x that's the first solution and then we display this because uh, we should say that as x1 x1 equals and what we display display x like this and the other will be x2 but it will be minus the square root of the discriminant so copy the same thing and change this sign if you remember it is plus minus and then we copy this syntax also that's the whole idea of using this editor that you can increase your speed there it is 2 and then enter and then end and that's it so we save this as and i'm going to i have one program already here so i'm going to call this as 2 but remember you cannot put more than 8 characters so quadratic and i say uh, you cannot use even number uh, so i'm just simply going to say quadra and that's it that will be the file so save so if you close this and go to memory you can import this program so load and here is the f3 export import so we want to import so we say f1 and here is the code but we need the text file so we say all files and here is the quadra so we it's already brought to the root if you press f1 it will save and that's the quadra exit and you have to exit from here go to the main menu and load the program in program so you have to enter there is nothing here because it was a text file it needs to be rolled so uh, loaded so that's where the load is so here is f4 and the quadra will be down below so i'm going in the other direction this is quadra tick uh, there is quadra so this if you open it will 
be copied back into the program uh, directory to be executed there it is quadra now you can edit it or you can execute it's better to execute the program to see oh that was a wrong program chosen quadra so we will know the bugs right away uh, given so input a b and c so we input one for a there is syntax error so we go and exit and uh, the program already shows that there is syntax error here because it doesn't know what this disp means so you can put shift program and put the display character which is offered here so that is f5 then we don't need this whole bit here so we will take that thing out do the same thing here oh that display character we put but it didn't show so we are going to put that again so here and this one goes here and we need display then do the same thing here take this thing out and put display there will be discriminant display also so take this thing out and display okay most likely we'll still need to come back and do a few things because it never really works the first time so execute so let's do one is a there it is displayed two is our b again displayed and one is our c so again displayed so the discriminant zero is fine and then there is syntax error and so we go and find the syntax error here this syntax error will have to be fixed although we imported program and the code looked correct that doesn't mean that it will work the first time this word then should come from the program so i'm going to uh, undo that and it is here then so i'm going to put that one and i'm going to execute this so we have one display two and if i put one my discriminant is zero that is displayed and because it's zero it should have shown the roots it did not because we have uh, used something in the notepad that needs to be fixed and that is here the square root because the word square root is not known to the so this whole square root of d needs to be put here so i am going to take this thing out and use shift square root and d do the same thing below because i already know that i will fix this error here also remember we wanted to put display the root and that was uh, okay let me put that disp time being uh, because i'll forget this one so i'm going to take this out and put square root sign here uh, square root d now we'll take that display uh, take care of the display uh, problem uh, remember the display is actually this one so we do that we go here we take this whole thing out and we say we want f5 that is the display then we need one more thing to be displayed that's here 
so we take take this here now let's hope that this works so we say exit execute so input one displayed two one i am doing x plus one square equal to zero kind of thing so discriminant is zero and uh, so it still didn't give the roots correctly because there is something in calculation of discriminant that is not done correctly so we have minus d minus b plus divided by 2a that is assigned to x that is fine so what is happening is maybe this variable is not known so i am taking that thing and doing the same thing here put this as x uh, do same thing for uh, this one put this as x all uh, what i am doing is changing the way the x was written it probably has to come from uh, the calculator so again we execute one displayed two displayed one displayed we have zero uh, okay now there is a bug in the formula so we'll have to find that and fix it this formula needs to be completely uh, entered in the calculator that's where the problem is coming so we are going to put that with negative so here it is so we need parenthesis alpha not yet uh, negative b so alpha b and now we need negative d so minus alpha but square root so we need shift square root alpha d there it is so this is divided by 2a 2 alpha a this we assign here is that assign sign and that also has to come it looks like from here uh, wrong we need x that's x and uh, let's see so we exit and run so 1 then 2 then 1 and discriminant is 0 as expected x1 is minus 1 and x2 is minus 1 and the end we call that as when discriminant is positive so when you hit enter it will go out so it's working let's see uh, negative discriminant and uh, then we will say that the program is working so we have f1 for negative discriminant b square minus so b should be small so a is 3 b is 1 and c is 5 so my discriminant is negative and it works there is no solution and that's how you uh, write in notepad debug in uh, the calculator environment uh, generally uh, things won't be uh, very complicated so this is the end of the clip